Hey, how's it going? You're watching the Iron Wheel Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and trainings. So lately, things have been insane at work in my day job, in my real job. Um, things just haven't stopped. So I really hope that things settle down sometime soon uh, because it would be nice to have life back to some sort of regular routine so that I can get back into proper training, get back into running. I haven't done any proper running for a little while, but I have been going to the gym. So as I mentioned, I signed up to uh, the gym. So I've been going at a pretty regular um, five or so times per week now, which is great. I'm really enjoying it and it, it is a great little break from other types of training such as, you know, running, swimming and cycling. And it's still early days with the gym. Um, I've only been a member for about a week and a half so we'll see how long this enthusiasm lasts and how often I actually go after a while. But yeah, I'm really enjoying getting back into the gym and I've also been trying to get back into Kung Fu. So I'm going to try and get back to more classes in Kung Fu like I had about a year ago I stopped sort of going to Kung Fu as often so I'm gonna try and get that back up go at least twice maybe three times a week rather than the once a week that I've been currently going and starting to spark a little bit of um, enthusiasm towards my training I watched the Ineos uh, challenge yesterday which was amazing so there's this guy who he already has the current world record for the fastest marathon run you know, I thought I was great having set the Guinness World Record title for the fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform a couple of years ago, but this guy has the fastest record, has the Guinness World Record fastest marathon run. Full stop. So he, I think his marathon actual record is about two hours and a minute or something like that. But this was a challenge to himself. He had proper paces and everything to run under two hours for the marathon. And he managed to do it. So he ran an hour and 59 minutes, 40 seconds, although it wasn't recognized as a world record because he had the paces, because he had a car in front of him showing exactly where he needed to run. It wasn't sort of on his own steam, but it still shows how amazing humans can be, what we can achieve and sets new standards for the future. Who knows, maybe now we'll see more people maybe very few, but more people setting less than two hours for a, for a marathon. Also, one awesome thing that happened today, of course, was the Vega Ironman World Championships, which happened in Kona. So Ironman Kona happened. And a big congratulations to Annie Haug and Jan Fredino. And also a special shout out to Sarah Crowley, representing Australia, coming third in the women's Ironman race. While these sorts of sporting endeavors are amazing um, and they're really encouraging me to want to get back into everything and do more races, uh, so I still have my Half Ironman Western Sydney coming up in November this year and the next race which I could go to is the Nepean Triathlon which as from last year if you remember that was a month before the IMM Western Sydney. So that's at the end of this current month. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have the funds to go to it. So I may be there and help support the other team members from Balance and UTS Triathlon Club, which is the triathlon club that I'm a part of, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to compete. Other races which I am thinking of to go to, uh, there's a series of what is called the Bolt Races, which is a five kilometer run and it's a watches off type session so you have to guess what time you're going to do and i think it's whoever is closest to their time their guest time actually wins so you don't have to be the fastest you just have to be the person who guesses the most accurately to what you are actually going to run so that seems like a fun series of races and i unfortunately didn't make it to any of them last year so i would like to get to that this year since they're only a gold coin donation thanks for watching if you want swim bike run and exercise content every week from here in australia then hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you in the next one cheerio